and I say, we're going to find your son. I, I promised him. And I'm sitting here crying like a little boy here. I, I'm so touched by who you are and what you do, brother. You're just uh, such a good man. What, what made you move forward on that story? And he said, could you sleep at night knowing that one of your children's beds was empty? I said, I will never stop until we find your son. And at the end of the day, the, the, my boss's great people said, Tim, we can't send you to Haiti. And I went to my wife and I said, what do I do? I promised this man. And she's usually very sweet. <laughs> at my lowest point, she grabbed me by the collar. I will not let you jeopardize my salvation by not doing this. <laughs> what do you do with that, you know? I said, if that's where we're at, we're gonna do this. We found the traffickers. They had 28 other children that they were trying to sell, but Gardy was already sold. Guess no Marty, this father is just, he's my hero. He seems to live in what we call a beautiful state. Like, even though he's in the midst of the darkest world, I'm sure you've asked him, how does he keep it up? He said, if I have to give up my son so that these 28 kids can be rescued, that is a burden I'm willing to bear.